Okay, so I had some questions on how to solve <clears throat> problem 6 in chapter 12. So let me go ahead and read the question to you. It says, we're given the company that makes a table wants to ship 100 units at the beginning of day 4, 150 units at the beginning of day 5, and 200 units at the beginning of day 7. Receipts of 100 wood sections are scheduled at the beginning of day 2. The odd hand balances are braces equal 60 and legs equal 120. Lead times in days are, are for all items are shown in the table below, and the product structure is shown also. <clears throat> so each table they make takes two wood sections, three braces, and four legs. Okay, and depending on the quantity, any one of these that we're going to get order, the lead time, the lead time is going to be uh, is going to be dependent on how many we order. Okay, so we want to find we want to find a material requirements plan for lot to lot ordering for all items. So I went ahead and pre-made this uh, master schedule. And we can go ahead and put some of this information. Well, like you can look at the master schedule I made. Uh, it has a day and the quantity needed for each day. Okay, and it says here that they need, they need 100 at the beginning of day 4. So I can go in here and put 100. And then at the beginning of day 5, they need 150. And the beginning of day 7, they need 200. Okay, so, uh, so their gross requirements are going to be the same here. This equals this, right, and I could copy that across. Okay. Um, the bidding getting on hand is uh, zero. Okay. So uh, basically, the way this formula works, what you would do is I'm going to say this equals zero, or this equals uh, this. So basically, the next on hand, projected on hand, is going to be equal to the previous on hand. Okay, uh, plus the planned order receipts, minus the gross requirements, and then plus what we're scheduled to receive on that day. So that's also there. So I can copy that all the way across. And so what are my net requirements here? My projected down hand is zero, my, and I need 100. So my net requirements are going to be equal to this minus my projected on hand. So I, so that would give me my requirements each one of these days. Okay. And my planned order receipts, well, I need, I've been basically going to need to order 100, right? And here I'm going to need to order 150. And here I'm going to need 200. Okay. Um, I can go ahead and clear this off. Don't need this. So um, let me go ahead and put a little formula in here so you can read what I'm putting in here. Uh, hold on one second. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little formula. Oops. I'm going to add a little formula in here so you can read what I put. Okay, so uh, so now each one of these I need a hundred of these on day four. Well, what's the lead time lead time for a quantity a hundred? Is a one day lead time. So I would have to order them right here, right? And here also for a quantity of one hundred and fifty. Well, that's between zero and two hundred. So my lead time would be equal to oops, one day. So I need to order these right here. 
and 200 to leave time is also my one day leave time. So I'd need to order these right here. So that's, hi. So that's my table. All right, so now uh, for the wood sections, we need two wood sections. Okay, so if I'm ordering 100 tables, I need two wood sections for each table. So my gross requirements are going to be equal to this times two. Okay, and I can copy that across. Um, now remember, I did it on this lead time, not on here, because I have to order this. I need this table here. So in order to build this table, I have to have these. Okay, so it's right below that. I'm going to clear this because this zero will just be confusing. And the wood sections it says it says uh, it says here that the wood sections uh, we're going to have a hundred scheduled for the beginning of day two. So the wood sections day two is going to be a hundred coming in. All right. And there's no beginning inventory, right? Okay, and then what I'll do is copy this format down. Copy, paste, copy, paste. Okay, and we'll copy this across. Okay, so. So we started out with zero. We got a hundred. So I have a projected on a hand of a hundred on day two. Now day three, what are my net requirements? Okay. My net requirements are going to be my gross requirements minus my projected on hand is a hundred, right? So I'm going to need this many on this day. So I copy this formula across and I can go ahead and make these zeros. Okay, so now that's that's for my wood sections. Let me copy these again. Okay. Um, so a hundred, we know a hundred, I need a one day lead time. For 300, how many days do I need? I need two days. So really I need this a hundred plus I need this 300, so I need 400 right there. Now for 400, if we go up here, the lead time for 400 is two days. So I would need these right here. Okay. And that would be my wood sections. Okay, so now let's look at uh, the braces. We need three braces. We also want to check and see what it said about braces. It says we have 60 braces on hand. So I'm going to put beginning in inventory 60. Okay, so now this is going to be cool. day one. We're going to have 60. I'm going to go ahead and copy this formula again. And copy it across. And so let's see, we need three, three braces for each table. And so I would say this, I would say this is equal to how many tables I need times three. Okay. And I'll copy that across. Again, I'm going to clear these two because zero doesn't really mean much here. So these are my gross requirements on legs. And remember, I need those on the day I release the order, so I can get the order going, because, because I have a one day lead time for the table itself. Okay, now, uh, so what are my net requirements here? It's gonna be equal to 300 minus 60, that's 240. So I'm gonna to have to release an order of 240. I can drag these across again. And I'm going to clear, I hold down control and highlight all this. I right click and go clear contents because those don't really mean much here. And so now I need 240 on day three. 240 is a two day lead time. 
So I say that's equal to there, and you'd order those. 450 is, is also a two-day lead time. So I say this equals this. And 600 is a three-day lead time. So I go one, two, three, and this equals that. So this is, this is the one I'm going to have to release the order. Then 240 to 450 and 300. 600 on, on day three. So if you're the production planner, you have to already release an order today, right? In order to get it to, in order to get my, my orders, get enough parts in order to produce the table starting day three in order to ship at day four. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead. It seems complicated, but you kind of get the hang of it as we go. So let me go ahead and copy these formulas again. All right, so uh, so now on uh, on day or on the legs, we need four legs. So again, so it's gonna so this requirement, the growth requirement, is gonna be equal to the hundred. I need a hundred tables and four legs going to each table. Copy that across. I'm gonna clear these two because I don't need the zero there. Just all right. Uh, there's also a projected on hand for that. It says there's 120 legs on hand. So my beginning inventory is 120. This equals this. Copy this formula down. And I can drag that formula across again. And so now my net requirements here are going to be equal to 400 minus 120. So my planned order receipt is going to be equal to that. Drag this across. I can clear this. Okay. So 280, my lead time for 280 is two days. So I'd have to order that today. 600, the lead time is three days. So I'd have to also order those today. So I'm going to have to go plus this. And then 800 is three days. So I would say this is right here. Because this is, takes one, two, three days to get there. Okay. And that would be my answer right there. Again, let me copy this for you. And that's the answer. So these are basically what we were trying to get at. When do I need to release orders or for how much? So I'm going to highlight these yellow. So these are what we're doing all that work for. Because these, we need to release orders for legs, for 888 legs on day one, for 800 legs on day four three in order to get to get these to get these made in time okay so it just gives us what orders need to be released on the dates and that's all